Since the pandemic began, what type of average price increase have we seen in the Oakville Milton real estate market? Because it has been bananas. You're absolutely right. Like it's been bananas. And uh, to give you an answer, average price home in uh, Oakville is 2.45 million plus 12% from January, 2021, where it was like a 2.1 million. And uh, on top of that, the every price of townhouse and condo is 1.2 million, which is plus 47% from January, 2021. Plus 47% in the past year. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. So, I mean, that is absolutely crazy. Have we ever in history seen an increase like this before? Well, uh, just to give you the more example, like we haven't seen that, that kind of increase before. Uh, in Milton, uh, which is, you know, this little bit lower price home than Oakville, average price home increased 1.55 million, uh, plus 25% from January 2021. And average price townhouse condo is approximately 1.05 million, which is 39% from January, 2021. So obviously, you know, the pandemic is part of this and it's a supply and demand thing. Looking forward, we're coming out of the pandemic, but I mean, I know that there are bidding wars going on all over the place. Can you even make a prediction in regards to what's gonna happen in the market in 2022? Well, if I have a crystal ball, I will be a billionaire. <laughs> so, um, I'll give you a little bit high level narrative on that. It's over the last three years, there has been a general lack of market supply mm -hmm. inventory, which you mentioned that as well, um, has driven prices drastically upward in Oakville, Milton and Halton Hills as it has most everywhere. The pandemic was a massive catalyst for this as it further highlighted the hesitations people had for entering and or exiting the market. We were just discussing, you know, uh, you mentioned that you hesitate uh, about entering in the market as well. For nearly half of the time that the pandemic has been with us, there was a lot of uncertainty about financial implications the pandemic was having, as well as career implications and job losses. Outside of the pandemic, a lack of housing options, especially affordable housing, is posing significant problem for first-time homebuyers. Mm -hmm. They are simply priced out. OMREB, along with other real estate association bodies, are actively advocating for the creation of more housing options, which we believe may help elevate the supply issue. Now, we've heard talk of the government trying to stop this inflation, but honestly, I don't understand how that can happen because I bring it back to the point, you know, and what you've just said. It's a supply and demand issue. So what type of things are being discussed in order to, you know, curb the inflation? Well, in order to, um, to curb the inflation, like what government of Ontario recently released their Housing Affordability Task Force report, which highlights recommendations for additional measures to increase the supply of market housing to address the housing crisis. It remains to be seen how this will impact Halton or what benefits we see in both the short term and long term. It provides an umbrella fix for the housing shortage and which does not directly target the local issues facing Oakville, Milton and Halton Hills. So you're absolutely right. Like we don't know how that's going to turn out with inflation is keep on rising. Uh, but what I will say about like a 2022, it was slow down. It's compared to uh, 2021. Uh, that's what I expect because first of all, affordability is going out of range. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, now announcement of like a assumption of like a little, Bank of Canada going to increase the interest rate, which we have seen that already the banks have started doing it. Um, that could lower down like the more people who's decided not to not to come in the market. So they would reduce the buyers. Uh, but again, like as you mentioned, inventory is going to be a consistent issue.
So for someone that is in the housing market, whether it be a, a first time buyer or someone maybe looking to expand or change locations, what would you say now in this crazy market? Like what are best practices? What type of advice could you give someone? Well, the best practice is like, you know, don't give up. Like, you know, you always uh, <laughs> don't give up. Like, you know. Don't give up. Absolutely. Because the thing is, like, you know, I know people uh, last year when we were talking about uh, people and to say, hey, you know what, market is crazy, it's going to crash, I'm not going to invest. Come couple months after what happened, the prices increase and not like it's increased significantly. Even like uh, since January, like of this year, we're seeing every time you go, we see the uh, prices like you're paying 50, 100,000, 200 up to 400,000 above asking price, which is, which is like a crazy. Uh, but the other factor we have to look into closely as well, when these houses get listed, are they getting in the listed on the right price? Uh, are they listing on the market price? Uh, because a lot of time that people get attracted and uh, we, we able to get into a bidding war. So, mm -hmm. and I think like in the most of the, Alton Realtors, I have seen it, is they're doing uh, most of the, the right thing and they're putting in the right market, majority of it. Uh, so in that way, we don't get into that kind of situation. Well, Vishal, I really appreciate your time today. Uh, as someone in the market, I hope it slows down a little bit so I can get myself a house. But nonetheless, uh, I'm taking your advice and I'm not giving up. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Jason.